Hello there, everyone. I am Dijon the First, and before Dino goes, wait, two videos in one week? What's going on here? I just wanted to say a few things. First off, my back is feeling better. Thank you, Inversion Table. And for those of you who don't know what an Inversion Table is, it's basically, um, I'm just wearing like this. It's like a surfboard that you lay on that it has, that's basically on, I was about to say stilts, but that's not the right analogy. It's basically on foldable metal legs that you use to hang upside down from in order to help your back for very short periods of time at a time because your, br your blood rushes to your head very quickly and to make sure you don't fall out there's some straps or big fluffy cushions that are covering up the very very sharp metal poles then you can lock into place and some handles to hold you in place or you know you could just used a little spring lock deal on there to make it to where you can have it to where you can't go back as far to a certain angle. There's even one to where you can like just have it to be like an actual table. You could lock it into place. That would still be a little wobbly, but it was it would serve its due as long as people remember to wipe it down. It's like I'm gonna use the emergency table after I just got off the treadmill and not wipe it down so my sweaty, sweaty back gets all over it. Thanks, Craig. And Maiden. Thank you both. For not cleaning anything. Anyway! I don't know why I said that like I was going... Like, I went to the gym, I just used the one I had at home. <laughs> I mean, there was a gym that I used to go to, and that's why I was thinking about those two, but, uh, that place got shut down, and I do not have the money to get an gym membership. They were, they were so cheap, and now they're gone. And everywhere else is now too expensive, and also there's a pandemic, so they would be a waste to try to get, get a new one at the moment. I really hope another place like that opens up. I miss being able to exercise without my lungs feeling like they're burning dog poop right through them. It's like burning dog poop right through them. Yes, that's a nice thing to say because, oh, guess what? Dogs poop indoors because no one ever takes them out. Dogs poop, they go like, uh, oh, Dito will take them out. Forgetting that I work from home. On a computer. And I have been recently turning up the volume due to some hearing damage, so now I can't hear as well because of some certain people constantly screaming using megaphones and the fireworks and the gunshots. And me panicking every single time the one of the neighbor's houses burns down. It's like, my hearing is not as good as it used to be. Let's burn it like that. But, what I want to talk about is just long gone. <laughs> uh, I wasted four minutes and now I forgot what I was going to originally talk about. Oh boy. It was something to do with a very stupid law which makes it to where America's debt just keeps in Oh yeah, the law that Congress made to where the president has to spend the money that Congress tells the president he has to spend. I was about to say they, they, but then I remembered, oh yeah, we don't have a woman president yet. 
And at the current rate, Trump is going to be the president for another four years. So, yeah. We're not going to get one until probably the next election. Anyway. Uh. Anyway. There is a law that I just found absolutely stupid. It's like, the president has to spend all the money that Congress tells him, tells him he has to spend. But they always make sure that it is... But they also have this little line thing to where they go, like, you cannot spend more than this line. And then they purposely make it to where the president constantly has to spend more than over the, than the spending limit. But then they just raise the spending limit, but any time the president can, comes close to the limit, they just go like, oh, how could you? Oh, you're so unprofessional. It's like, you made a law to where the president has to spend this money, and you, every single bloody time, it's just, you constantly make it to where they have to spend more in order to reach the threshold, and then you raise the debt anyway. You raise the limit, so we end up with more debt. Congress needs to be reworked. And put some restrictions on them, too. It's only gonna be a matter of time be before they go, go like, you know what? We find too many people annoying. We're gonna make the purge legal. I mean, it would fail because... Only the ver only a very very small percent would actually just go in and start killing people, and people would more likely just like hack banks, and then it would just ruin the economy of America because, oh yes, a country that just all of a sudden just loses all of its money because a ton of people just hack every single bank in America, one night a year on the same time, and the amount of tax fraud, so that way the government wouldn't be making any more money. That would just ruin the economy, and then there would be no country to be willing to trade with America because it's like, oh yeah, one night a year just ruins itself, and then takes who knows how long to recover. It's just, that would fail horribly, but but that was just, that was just a dumb example. Oh yes, another dumb law. And this one is specifically in my home state of Texas. God damn it, this one is really dumb and holy cow, I wish they would make it illegal. But no, 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 no. As long as you're as long as it's your guardian or your parent, underage drinking is allowed. As long as your guardian or parent gives it to you and you're sitting down while you drink while you're chugging your twelve bottle of beer. Taxes. What the fuck? You're all like the only state that I know of because after I learned this I was just too angry to search it further. You're the only state that I know of that has legal underage drinking. I mean I guess probably California has that too because California is the fucking dumbest state we have. Actually, no, 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 that's not fair. California has the dumbest people in America. Yeah, you can't blame the piece of land for being stupid. It's literally land. It's the people that make the area stupid. Okay, what was another dumb law? What was it? Single women cannot skydive. During Sunday, that's a really dumb law. Oh God, where was that from again? Was it Missouri? No, I don't think it was Missouri. Um, definitely not Minnesota. Uh, I can't remember. Uh, okay, let's see what else. Uh, let's see here. What is another dumb law? 
Wasn't there a law about... Wasn't there a law somewhere to where you... Couldn't... Have sex... With a porcupine? Like... I remember hearing about that and I don't remember if that's a real law or not. I could be spreading BS on a fake law that does not exist, but... I remember hearing somewhere... About a law to where you're not allowed to have sex with a porcupine. I do not know <laughs> if it's real or if it is where it's from. I cannot remember. Oh my god. I'm a well of random knowledge and that knowledge is not always accurate. Or reliable. Because it's something I look at once and then never again. Even if I make sure that's a real thing or if a fake thing and then I just forget if I figure out if it's a real fake. Okay. Wasn't there a really, really dumb law that was basically you're not allowed to say what you think and if you say something, no matter the context, if someone finds it threatening or offensive, ignoring the context, or what was actually said, but they interpreted it as a way, even if someone just said, I can't find my baseball for that, I'm going to be late from the, for the game, and that person interprets it as, I, oh, he's trying to find his murder weapon to kill me, and then you could report it, and that person would get 20 years in jail. Oh yeah, laws that prohibit free speech. Which is also why I try to avoid vacationing out of America, because of how many stupid countries have that law. If I say something like, oh, I don't like guns, I'm worried that I would kill someone if I had a gun, and someone doesn't hear the whole thing, and they go like, this guy who said he would kill someone if he had a gun, I better report that. It's like, not getting the story, or not getting all the contacts, I just get arrested. Doesn't matter. I just get flat out arrested. It's just... That, it, those are some fucking dumb laws. But they exist. I wonder if people will say America is the best place. To, one of the few places that gives you free speech. And also one of those things to where if you do something illegal, you can just come back and then just do it all over again multiple times as long as you... Or an immigrant, because, hey, you're not here legally, so all we can l legally, we can't keep you here against your will, because, because, that could be, on some instances, that could be seen as an act of war, if it's a high-class person, because you're keeping them out of the country against the will, that could be seen as a war crime, which is one of the reasons why we don't just keep you locked up in jail if you break the law. And why some immigrants never bother becoming citizens because they just go like, Oh, I break the law and I can just come back. As long as I keep my head down for a while, they all they can do is just deport me because they probably won't remember, remember that I did a crime because there's so many other immigrants. You know, some of them actually do become, do get their citizenship and, and when that's, happens, then we can lock them up or when they do something illegal. Of course, then there's the immigrants that never do anything illegal. They're just here visiting like friends or family and then they play go back home but something happens to keep them longer than, this, than they're supposed to be and then they're deported. Which, on one hand, they're going back back to the country they were trying to get back to. But on the other hand, now, if any officer recognizes, sees them, they maybe because now they have a record, which I guess they're supposed to go for the ones that commit crimes on purpose, or just did something stupid to get them kicked out, they will now be deported again because they have a criminal record.
I bring down everything down until it's simple and then fold it back up slowly so that I can understand so it's not as complicated, but it's just immigration. Not an easy to topic because Because, yes, there's a lot of them, but some, well, as far as, I, the way I was taught how immigration it is, is literally someone from another country coming to another. That's it. Which, and then, right after I got out of school, it's like, oh, it's someone moving into another country to live there illegally, and that's where I started getting that, but my brain is still going like, oh, it's just one people from another country go to another nothing. No, those are visitors. And that's why I should have said when people this isn't the friends of any, they are freaking visitors, but they're classified as illegal immigrants because because they can't get back to the country because if something happens happens or it's like if they get kidnapped and then escape. It's like but then but that happens they will go like, oh I'm not gonna report it because they will just depart me. It's like And I'm just going like, the, it's like, any system that would make sense, any system that would make sense, they would not just straight up depart you because you might be a valuable asset. What would make the most sense to me is like, you would tell them what's going on, and then everyone that gets put through it, they're going to need help. And because you help bring this organized, this, like, human trafficking down, they would offer you some citizenship and some lessons so that way you can speak the language better if you're not very good at it. And then you could just live in America. And if you were one of those kidnapped people, they'd give you a rest period, allow you to get back up, allow you to contact some friends and family, or if you don't have any, you'd probably, like, go into a program to apply for American citizenship, and then then you're American, as long as you can fulfill stuff like being able to speak English. Because if you're gonna be a citizen to another country, you have to be able to speak the language of the country. Which in Canada would be English and French, so you though I though I think it's majority on their speak English, I know like a lot of um speak French as either a first or a second language and then also speak English. I say. I mean, there's also that dumb thing to us like, oh, there's some Can Canadians that think they're French that want to attack Canada, but that was something I learned so long ago, I don't even know if that's still true or not. Or if it was true, it was, I learned it as a child, so I could have misunderstood it. <laughs> Okay, I'm just... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna stop recording, because this has gone on long enough, so it's like... This was originally was gonna be that stupid laws, and then it just... Kinda got political, which I will always try to avoid, but you know what, I... Don't care this time. I just hope people... Watch all the way through before they go to the judgment court. Like, oh, detons are racist because he called people that are just visiting their families immigrants. Because it's not like they're trying to live here, detons. Like, I know. I mean, to be fair, a lot of people are trying to move to America, but I don't want to stay in America because of the problems I see. But every other place I look up, I see other problems. That make it to where I can't live there because those problems would. Because I know I would either slip up because, um, it was like some place with a stupid law like, oh no, public displays of affection, otherwise you have trouble. It's just like, uh, laws are dumb. Governments are dumb. I just... Anyway, thank you for watching. I'm been Detone, signing over and out.